Processing partial payments to suppliers. We're going to make a partial payment to a supplier since the business doesn't have enough funds in its checking account to make payment in full. To complete this process, we'll first create a partial payment document, then apply it to an accounts payable bill, and finally release the payment and payment application. To begin with, let's create a new record using the checks and payments form. By default, a new payment document type is created. Select the supplier. Indicate the partial amount to be paid in the Payment Amount field. Select a cash account and add a description for this transaction. Now, let's select a bill to which the payment will be applied. On the Documents to Apply tab, click the Add Row icon. On the Added Row, click the Reference Number and search for the correct bill. Let's select this bill. After selection, the partial payment we specified is automatically inserted in the Added Row. This means it is now applied to the selected bill. Let's now save the check. And as you can see, the Reference Number's balance reduces by the payment amount specified. To complete the process, let's now release the payment and its application. To do that, click the Remove Hold button. Then click the Print Process button. The system opens the Process Payments Print Checks form. Notice that the system has added a row with the check and selected the unlabeled checkbox for it. If more than one check is listed here, make sure the correct check is selected for processing. Let's click the Process button. The system opens a separate browser tab showing the printable version of the check. Since we are not printing the check, let's close it. Note that the Process Payments Print Checks form changed to the Release Payments form. Here, click the Process button. A pop-up message will appear confirming that the process has been completed. To verify the transaction, click the Reference Number link. The payment document opens in the Checks and Payments form. Notice that the status of this check is now closed. Go to the Financial tab and click the Batch Number link to review the GL batch created in the Journal Transactions form. To review the bill balance, go to the Application History tab and click the Reference Number link. Notice that the status of this bill is open, as the payment hasn't been made in full.